How's everyone doing? I am Mobile Master Tech and I'm back at a tower um, for a very special uh, episode, I feel like. So Verizon has recently started clearing C block and we're, we're at 100 megahertz now. We're supposed to be at 150, 140 pretty soon, but very good to see, right? And yes, I just hit over a gig. Finally, I've never been able to do that on Verizon before. Now we can do it, which is great. Let's go ahead and run that test, see what we get. 31 millisecond ping. And about 700. So we're missing 40 megahertz, almost 800 now. Uploads are great. Closing in on 100. Um, this is, it should be 160 megahertz total. Let's go ahead and see that. That's, uh, let me just take it out of here. It's kind of bright today, sorry. We have band 66, 10 megahertz. And I guess it went away, so I guess we'll have to run another test. see now it's looking like it's going to break a gig there it is it broke it broke 11 very nice very nice Verizon imagine when the 40 shows up any day now Verizon could have leapfrogged T-Mobile to be uh, the best carrier so what we're going to do now check out uh, it's 10 there's the 100, 20, 20. So we have a total of 150 megahertz online, which is just 10 shy of what T-Mobile does on standalone. Uh, Dish is also on this site. So we'll go ahead and run Dish and see how they perform. Okay, pretty good. 200, 300. Can we get four? Eh, probably not, but... Very close to it. Pretty good speeds. Okay. 388. And I've gotten close to 500 um, on Dish before. Not on this particular tower, but I have gotten over close to it. Uh, 388, 15.4 down. Ping of 39. Jitter of 2. Pretty good showing from uh, Dish. Next, we have AT&T. This is a bad area for them. They really should think about getting on this site uh, it's a very poor area for them usually anyway it's very uh inconsistent so right now they're not doing too bad the pings are pretty bad though as usual for at t but the download is fine jitters a little higher than i would like to see it you can tell they need a tower here uh 42.8 down and about less than one up when you start seeing those uploads do that where it's really slow then you know density is needed so hopefully they end up on this tower there's plenty of room for them to get on it um i mean i don't see why they're not on this site and then last but not least we have uh where's t-mobile there it is. Oh, sorry we have t-mobile on the pixel and Let's run a test. Okay, 15 millisecond ping. 800 down. This is on standalone, by the way, not uh, non standalone. So, standalone, I think it's 160 megahertz. Pretty good showing, not quite as fast as Verizon. So, Verizon working with 10 megahertz less outsped t-mobile that had 10 megahertz more of course it all could be uh, anecdotal if i ran another one it could go the other way either way they're about even now and that's really really cool to see horizon just let's do that one more time just you know finally that 60 megahertz was just killing them you know 
now they have at least 100 right now and soon they'll have even more this is very nice to see so i'll close the video out with this nice little speed test here this time it's uh not quite breaking the barrier but it's really close and we'll do one more for t-mobile as well when this one finishes up 29 millisecond ping t-mobile seems to be the ping king i will give them that much their ping times no one has better ping times than them on average at least in my county very nice speeds though from both mind you this is uh 160 versus 150 on verizon um and verizon's nsa and this is standalone so really nice stuff I wonder what non-standalone would do on T-Mobile. Would that just, let's see. Before we get out of here, let's see if that makes any difference, if I can force a non-standalone situation here. Okay. All right, hopefully I can get it. Yeah, I think I've forced a non-standalone situation. And yeah, there is a difference, it's not huge. But there definitely is a difference. Looks like it adds another, let's say about another 100 megahertz. Definitely helps to upload. So it's be very interesting to come back here uh, in a few days, hopefully when Verizon lights up the rest of the, uh, the 40 megahertz that is missing. We can have a true proper battle of the bands in this area. Um, if you like what you see on the channel, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 12352. Until the next video, I'm out.